Hello, and welcome to the ESL lab. My name is Jonathan Faubert, and I'm the coordinator of the lab here. So on Central Campus, the ESL lab takes care of all of the EAP grammar and writing classes, the listening and speaking classes, and the advanced composition classes. So that includes EAP 0185 to 0485, and EAP 0100 to 0400, and EAP 1540 and 1640. Um, so our hours of operation in the fall and winter are from 7.30 in the morning until 7.50 at night, Monday through Thursday. On Friday, from 7.30 in the morning till 3.50 in the afternoon, and on Saturday, from 9 to 3.50. Um, these hours can be subject to change depending on how things go each semester. Um, that's the usual time. In the summer, we have a little less time. Um, we close, uh, or we're open from 7.30 in the morning until 6.50 in the evening, and on Friday from 7.30 in the morning until 1.50 in the afternoon, and Saturday from 9 to 3.50. And again, depending on how the semester goes, the hours could change. So please remember to check the lab and check the website to see what the current hours are in the ESL lab. So the requirement for the lab is that the students spend 13 hours in the lab. The advanced composition classes, 1540 and 1640, um, usually do the lab online using Pearson's My Writing Lab, um, but they have the option of coming in to the lab as well. So they're still registered to use the ESL lab if you want them to come here, or if they choose to come here to do their work themselves. So the lab provides the assignments that the students will do in here, and we give them a sheet with all the assignments that they'll complete, and we check their work and give them credit for their work on those assignment sheets. Um, if the teacher chooses to, they can give them a schedule or a list of which ass assignments they want them to complete, or if they want to give additional assignments, um, they can contact me and I'll let the staff know so that the students can work on that while they're in the lab. Um, so when the students come to the lab, they need to bring their assignment sheet and be prepared to do whatever work they need to do. So whenever the students come to the lab, They'll first have to sign in on the sign-in computer, which is right here. Um, it uses the same student tracking system that all of the labs in the school use. So if they've been to another lab before, they should be familiar with it. If not, they just have to put in their student ID number and then log in. If they have the student ID card, they can also swipe the card instead of typing in the number. So whenever they come in, they have to sign in and whenever they leave, they have to sign out. If they forget to sign in or forget to sign out, they won't get credit for the time that day. So this is very important since they need to complete 13 hours before the end of the class. So this is the student's responsibility, but we can always check their records to make sure that everything's okay. If they see a problem or if you notice a problem, you can always talk to me as I'm the one who can change anything in the student tracking system for this lab. So when they come to the lab, they have to spend at least 15 minutes for the time to count. And usually the most they can do in one day is two hours. If it's a shorter class, a six week class, or during the summer, they can do up to three hours in one day. And when the student is ready to leave, we ask that they show us their work and we check their work and stamp their paper with the date. So if there's ever any problem with their time, we can check their work and see when they were here and hopefully be able to correct any problems that come up. So I'd like to show you an example of what the assignment sheet might look like. This is for the first listening and speaking class. It's EAP 0100. And you can see it just has a list of assignments. They're usually between you know, four and five pages. Um, this particular, uh, these particular assignments are for um, a program that helps them with pronunciation. And here's an example of what it would look like when we stamp their paper. It says ESL Lab and it has the date. 
Um, that way, if there's any problems where maybe they forgot to sign in, but they can show that they were here doing work, we might be able to adjust their time accordingly. Um, so this is what they'll need every time they come to the lab. If they forget to bring it, we might have to ask them to come back when they have it. So we have a lot of, we have a lot of resources for the students in the lab. Um, some of it are programs on the computer for um, the grammar classes. We have programs with grammar exercises and programs that go over different parts of writing. And for the listening and speaking classes, we have programs that help them with pronunciation and teach them the different sounds in English. Um, we also have a lot of DVDs that they'll watch, some about public speaking, some about writing and grammar, and some just about American culture in general. Um, we have several different books on grammar and writing, and even a few on listening and speaking. Um, some of them come with CDs that the students can listen to while they're doing the exercises. Um, so we have a lot of different resources available. We even have several dictionaries, and some are multi-language dictionaries, so English and another language, in case they need to translate something. And we also have tutoring available. The schedule for the tutors tends to change each semester, so it would be good to check at the beginning of the semester to see what the schedule for the tutors is. And the tutors can help with any of the classes, listening and speaking, grammar, writing. Um, they're prepared to help the students with whatever, whatever they need. So this includes helping them with something they're writing for class or exercises from the book that they're having problems with or just any area of grammar if uh, something they need to work on the tutors can go over some practice exercises and help them to develop the skill on their own. We also have several websites that the students will be going to as part of the lab work and also a long list of website, websites that we found um, that are free and the students can go to at home if they want some extra practice or any computer with internet. And so we have that list available if the student wants it and if you like you can contact me and I can email you a copy as well. <clears throat> so we want this place to be very open to questions. Um, when we have orientations we encourage the students to always ask for help if they need it, even if it's just a quick question. Um, we're here to help the students learn and really the whole purpose of the lab is to reinforce what they're learning. So it's a good place for them to come if they want to ask questions, if they need help, and we try to keep the environment very positive and upbuilding. Um, so we do require that the classes come in for an orientation. The only classes that aren't required for orientation are EAP 1540 and 1640. All the other classes that come to this lab must come for an orientation. It really helps the student to understand uh, what they're, what's expected of them, what they need to do in the lab, and also some of the procedures. And for many of them, even just coming here to know where it is, is very helpful. So um, I send a schedule for the orientations at the beginning of each semester, usually starting you know, maybe a week from the beginning of the semester or at least after a couple of times meeting with the students. Um, so uh, if you ever notice that you have not been contacted about an orientation, um, please contact me and let me know and I will schedule you in. So my contact information is available online, but my email address for the school is j. F-A-U-B-E-R-T at Broward.edu and my extension is 4901. So we're located in room 251. That's on the second floor of the library and that's within the Learning Resources Center. Um, so if you need anything else or have any other questions about how the ESL lab works or what's available here, please contact me and I will be happy to explain any uh, any questions that you have.